Hello, I'm Mimi, and today I'm doing something a little different with a quick fire five minute drawing challenge. I just have my pencils and a sketchbook, and I've asked my boyfriend to write down some prompts or categories of things for me to draw without reference as many as I can in five minutes. So I guess we'll give it a go. <laughs> okay, Dan, hand me one. What do you got? Happy <laughs> hippos. Okay. The prompt is happy hippos and I've got five minutes to draw any hippos if I can. I'm just gonna start the timer. <laughs> How? I don't even know what a hippo looks like. Okay, no it's fine, we got this. Hippo has a big sort of a snoot. Do they have a nose? No, they've got like a... This is gonna be disastrous, I can already tell. This hippo is gonna be more like a cow, I think. Are hippos the ones that they call sea cows? No, that's a dugong. Right, so we've got a snoot. <laughs> some eyes. Some eyes over here. Rosy cheeks will save the day. That's all right. I feel like the front needs to be more square. Now, do they have a mouth that comes up like this? No, this is looking way more like a dugong than a hippo. Now I need to think about the ears. I think hippos are the ones that their ears close underwater. So what does it even look like? Let's give them tiny ears. No, <laughs> that doesn't look right. I'm not confident. Maybe that's all right. All right, something like that for a face. Oh, this is supposed to be a happy hippo. Need more of a smile. <laughs> more of a smile in here. Maybe their mouth can be open a little bit. There you go. You know, I don't know if it looks like a hippo, but it doesn't look too far from a hippo. Although, let's give them a body. They can be in some water. That might sell it. And do these little ears, go over this outline a little bit so we can see what's what. Give a little bit of water ripples. <laughs> That's kind of a happy hippo. I'm going to do it a different color so I can give him rosy cheeks. That might help save me. Give everything a rosy cheek and it'll look better. I'm not convinced about this mouth. You know, I haven't even looked at the timer. It's two and a half minutes in. I haven't even thought about it. All right, we've got halfway through. Do I have little legs? What if I just put these little legs in front like this? That's not too bad. You know, that almost looks like a hippo. I guess we should give them a friend. Um, what's their friend going to be doing? Lying down? Do hippos lie on their, float in their backs in the water? No, let's have them like half submerged and then you won't be able to see half of it. And I might be able to get away with some more. So <laughs> they're just sort of submerged in the water. Like this. Then you only see half of them. Uh, which way did I... Oh, did I go inwards or outwards? I think that's it. I think I did these the opposite way around. Oh well. Some little eyes. Oh my god, I've only got a minute and a half left. You know what will make them happy if I add a big love heart here? You know, you think you know what an animal looks like until you try and draw it without a reference. And you realise you've got no idea. I actually think these ears might be okay though. At first I thought they were totally... Totally not how a hippo ear goes. I think it's better than the nose. Oh dear. This mouth's getting worse and worse. Mm, well, we'll roll with that. Rosy cheeks, save the day. Let's give them some little... They've got those kind of like whiskery bits, I think. You know, I think the one on the right, having done them, learnt some lessons with the one on the left, I think the one on the right is a little more hippo-like. I'm not sure if I would be convinced immediately when I saw it that it was a hippo. But looking at it compared to the one on the left, it looks more like a hippo than the other one. Oh, and that's time. Pencils down. Just need to shade this a little bit. Two happy hippos looking <laughs> as hippo as can be. I think if you ignore the disaster I had with the mouth over here, I'd ignore the fact that these nostrils are inverted to these nostrils. I think this is the right way to, to nostril. And this is... They're pointing in that way and they should probably be pointing out that way. The one on the left looks like they have a lipstick on. Yeah, this is a lipstick scenario. It doesn't help that I drew in purple. It was one of those situations where you try and make it a bit better by expanding on it. I think I actually just kind of made it a bit worse. This one I think looks okay. I think if I saw this I might be tempted to think hippo. Slightly happy with his little smiley face. Do yeah. you want to see what hippos actually look like? Oh, go on. <laughs> What is it? Oh, they've got way bigger ears than I thought they did. I must be thinking of a dugong still. I think this whole time I was getting closer to dugongs than I was to hippos. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, so their nose is like this one. This one's not too far off. 
This one's quite far off. <laughs> That's not a hippo. This could be a hippo. Well, there you have it. Happy hippos in five minutes without reference. Lessons were learned. <laughs> now I know what a hippo looks like and what not to do next time. Okay, Dan, give me a mystery prompt. I'm a bit scared now. Wind through hair. Okay, I got this one. I feel, I feel confident. I'm gonna spend five minutes. Wind through hair. Okay, it means I need a person to begin with. Unless maybe the hair's not from a person, maybe it's from an animal. It's gonna be a person. At least this is something I draw sometimes with my characters. Is like really over the top windy hair. Sort of like in commercials when they're like all windswept and it doesn't make any sense. Okay, that's the base of hair. Wind through hair. Do we make them pretty and like Disney wind through hair? You know how their hair always blows in the wind really beautifully? Or do I make it crazy? Let's do, let's go really big hair, like this. But if the wind's going that way, then this hair's probably coming over, like this. Um, probably got some coming across the face. Mind you, when I've got wind going through my hair, it's normally just all in front. I feel like I need Pocahontas vibes, you know, and she's always standing in a really beautiful windy spot and her hair is just like perfect in the wind. I want that. Although I'm not sure if it's quite there. Oh, it's not too bad. It's a little bit Pocahontas. Um, I guess my person needs a face. You know what though? This strand of hair is probably right in the way. Oh, that's okay. I never look this graceful with wind in my hair. Use some rosy cheeks. Essential. Just over halfway. Okay, I need to like fill in some of this hair. It's kind of like a big block to just colour in and I need some, need the colouring to have some movement to it. But do I have time? I normally draw this digitally so I'll have loads of layers but I don't have time for that. She's <laughs> it's a little bit scruffy. What can you do? Must not colour in the ear. A few flyaways, a few wispy bits, maybe a few that go over here. If you ever draw something and you just like immediately regret it and know that it was better before, that's what this is. What has she got on? Maybe she's got a, like a jumper on. Really windy. One minute left. These little arms. Look at me, I've got time to draw a pattern on the jumper. I'm doing well. Whoops. That's fine. Like this. Stripes. You know, I'm pretty happy with that. I've got 37 seconds spare and I feel like I could... I wouldn't be ashamed to stop now. But I will colour in this hair some more because it's very light. Bit of shadow, colour in between the lines, colour in with the that, darken this a bit. I'm not sure about this blobby bit of hair here. Oh well. Look at that! Wind through hair. I'm not too bothered about that. I think that worked out pretty well. But to be fair though, I do draw this sort of thing semi-frequently, which helps a lot <laughs> to not have a reference. If I had never drawn hair like that before, it would have been quite a different scenario. There you go, girl with wind in her hair in five minutes. Not too bad. Okay, Dan has some prompts for me that I have never seen before and he's gonna pass me one and I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw it in five minutes. Sloths. Oh Lord, I have not, I've never drawn a sloth. I've never drawn a sloth. Okay, let's go, five minutes. Sloths, sloths are like bears, but they're not bears, which is really important. That's gonna be the difficult thing. Tell you what, you know what's gonna sell it as a sloth. If it's hanging off a branch, that's how we're going to redeem ourselves here. With a sloth, it's going to have to be a tree. Otherwise, it's going to look like a koala or something if I don't put it on this, hanging off this tree. Right, sloth. Um, they're like a hammock shape, right? Something like this. But what's happening? Is it, is, is, is it the sloth's feet hanging on? Like little claws? Let's go with that. Little claws hanging on, which means this is a leg. Mm. <laughs> Do their legs like, are they like a joint, like a, like a dog's leg? Or are they just, ooh, I don't know. I'm suddenly less confident about how to draw a sloth. Here's another question. Do sloths have tails? Surely they do. Uh, well, <laughs> okay, here's what's gonna happen. A sloth's gonna do this, which means its head is, Hanging back? No, the head must be back here. Yep, that's a sloth's head. Oh, you know what? I think it will be like this. I can work with that. I'm not 
confident, but I feel like it could be sort of like this, which means we don't need that bit. But then what is their neck doing? Another big tummy? I actually don't know what a sloth looks like. This would be a lot easier if I did have a reference for a sloth. I feel like sloths are probably quite simple to draw as well. I just don't know what the anatomy of them looks like. I've got no idea what to... Look, they're gonna hang on to this. Oh, I've only got two minutes left. All right, sloth on the background. He's, he's a little round in the stomach. I'm just gonna do this. Let's give him a bit of like a fair effect. That might save us. Oh, maybe not. That might have been a mistake. Head. Do sloths have ears? Like fluffy ears? Uh, let's give them little ears because I feel like they must have some kind of ear. They've got like a really wide eyes, don't they? Oh, halfway. Okay. Uh, ooh. I have a feeling my sloth's going to end up looking like a cat. Do they have like a nose? Oh. Oh. What do their faces look like? It's funny, I can see a sloth in my head, but it's such a blurry picture when it comes to actually placing elements on the face, I suddenly am not sure at all. They've always got a bit of a confused look on their face. Oh, that's sad. Oh no, now we've got a <laughs> sad sloth. This is not going to plan. I think their, case, their face looks too much like a cat. I definitely need a reference to draw a sloth. Oh dear. You know what, I'm just gonna have to, I've already committed. <laughs> To what this sloth looks like. So we're just gonna kind of color it in a little bit. Give a bit of shading down the bottom, on the back legs. You know, this sloth does not. <laughs> I'm not sold. If I saw a picture of this it's, uh, in, a, in a magazine, I would not immediately think sloth. You know what? We'll just give them some fur. A little furry tummy. That says sloth. I'm just not sure what they're. I'm really confused now about their faces. Maybe they've got little round noses. Maybe they don't really have ears that show up at all. I think this one's uh, not going to be classed as a success at all. Oh, I've only got 42 seconds. I can't redeem this off. What if I put a little love heart here? <laughs> Maybe no one will notice. Maybe it'll detract enough from the sloth <laughs> that no one will. Maybe I'll need a few more love hearts then because this is not gone to plan. The hearts are quite cute though. Perhaps I can jazz up the tree a little bit and then that will work. Put some leaves on it. There we go. No one will notice. <laughs> oh, that's time. Look at that. Sloth without reference. Surprisingly difficult. I can see a picture of a sloth's face in my head, but it's not that. And I can't picture whether their nose is round. Or the nose, a nose on an animal will really tell you what it is and what it is not, and this is not a sloth. Do you want to see what a sloth actually looks like? Oh, I do, but I don't. Can you the mouse? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what a sloth needs. It's got these little eye bits. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's a few problems with my sloth. I mean, you can forget the arms, they don't need to be. Oh, that's right, I even forgot about whether they had a tail or not. I'm glad I didn't draw a tail, it would look like a monkey. So really, I need, I need these bits. I mean, it's not, it doesn't save it, that's for sure. <laughs> there are too many issues with my sloth face. It helps a tiny bit though. Yeah, they've got a really small nose. This is like a big bear nose. Where are the ears on the sloth? <laughs> well, they're not up there. <laughs> if that's what you're getting at. I don't think they even have uh, visible ears. They must be on the back of their heads or something. So let's just pretend those don't exist. Well, there you have it. That's what happens when you try and draw a sloth without reference. Minor disaster.